I'm Chef Jacques Pépin, and this is American Master at Home. For me, there is nothing easier to make than crepe. When I was a kid, my mother made crepe all the time. When Claudine was small, my daughter, she would bring someone from school, they get up, they sit at the counter, I make crepe. And you see, I just put a skillet here, and I put a large one, seven inch bottom. I'm gonna put a good tablespoon of butter on top of it. Yeah, good tablespoon of butter. And by the time this is melted, I'm ready to make the crepe. So here I have a third of a cup of, uh, of flour, one egg, whoop, that's it. And a little bit, I have half a cup of milk. I just put a little bit of the milk, a little dash of salt, and a bigger dash of sugar. And then I mix. Now remember that you do your crepe, whether you do them for sweet, or whether you do them to stuff them with fish, or with meat, or anything like this, it doesn't really matter. The crepe is the same. Now notice what I did here. I mix it, but only with some of the liquid. When I only have a little bit of liquid in it, the thread of the whisk would make it very smooth. If I put all of the liquid in it, then I may have lump. So now I can put the rest of the liquid in it. And as you can see here, my mixture is very thin. Here, you can see how liquid it is. And you can see also that my butter is, so now it's melted. I will have the butter to it, mix it, and that's it. I'm ready to do the first crepe. Now about a quarter of a cup of the mixture, I put it here and spread it all around. It's better to put less than more in it. Because even if you have a little corner where you have a little bit of missing, you can always add it. Now it has to cook about a minute, a good minute on one side. It could even be, the batter could even be slightly more liquid than that. Usually the first crepe, they say it's for the dog. No, not for me, I use the first crepe. This one, and I turn it, okay. Only time that I put butter in it is when I melt the butter to add to the mixture. I don't have to have anything else now. If you don't want to put butter, you can put a tablespoon of oil instead. So you cook it about 30 seconds on the other side. Now it's very loose, so it's easy to flip. And then now I slide it this way. Okay. Now second crepe. Notice that I put the butter in the corner here and I spread it out very fast, and I shake it. And a little more, too. Okay. Now, as soon as the batter touch the pan, it will coagulate and set. So the speed at which you spread it determines how thin the crepe is going to be. So you don't put it in the center. You put it in the center, people do this, so it goes all over the place, and to know you put it here on one side and spread it out this way to really spread it out. And as I said, even if you have a little bit missing, it's okay. Now you can see the side of that crepe is getting, so I usually lift it up, you know, turn it. Nice brown color, it could be a little browner than that, but that side of the crepe is always a nice side. I mean, it's nicer browning. So you turn it upside down in this point, or I flip it so that when you fold it to serve it, this is what you see on top, so that's an important part. And with a third of a cup of flour, as you can see, I will do about six crepes at least. And those are large ones. Usually crepes are done into four or five ounce pan, but then you have to serve several per person. Here I serve only one or two. Here it is, so I flip it. I put it this way, and again, spread it again here from this side. Spread it fast, shake it, shake it, shake it, that's it. And actually, it could even be slightly more liquid. I put a bit of water in there. When it's very liquid like this, you will see that the side of the crepe become like a, a little hole all over the place, and uh, like lace, and we call that very lacy crepe. Okay, two crepes like that per person is fine. Okay, again. Now, when I was a kid, Usually we had the crepe with confiture, you know, as a dessert. So I have some crepe here, maybe a tablespoon of uh, apricot jam. Sometimes we just put sugar in the middle, sugar and some butter. Sometimes 
grated chocolate on top of it. So you can have it this way. Here I can fold it, and as you see, that side is the nicest side. So this is the side which should go on top. Folding it in fourth like this. Some of the time, you can do it this way, and roll it that way, another way of rolling it. And sometimes just with a bit of sugar on top. Easy, inexpensive, a dessert fit for a king. This is how you make crepes. Happy cooking.